Start by picking a suitable location for the tent. It is mainly flat and open. Clear any sharp objects, such as rocks or sticks, that could damage the tent floor. The first step is to lay out the tent body and to stake out the corner straps. Begin this step by unpacking the tent and laying it out in your chosen location. The tent body and the rain fly have already been connected from the factory, so simply open the tent with the rain fly facing up. Starting on a short end of the tent, fully loosen both of the tension straps and stake them out at the full length of the strap. When staking out each strap, follow the seams in the rain fly. This will ensure that we can tension the tent correctly once we insert the poles. Step 2 is inserting the trekking poles into the rain fly. Set your trekking poles to approximately 125 centimeters in length. For your first pitch, you may find it easier to unzip the door on the rain fly. Insert the pole into the rain fly and raise the tent body, keeping the pole in line with the tent pegs. When inserting the pole, ensure that the handle goes into the reinforced pocket at the peak of the tent. The loop should be towards the inside of the tent to prevent the pole from sliding inward. At the bottom of the tent, insert the trekking pole tip into the shock cord loop to tension the floor of the tent. Now, move to the other side of the tent and insert the second pole in the same manner as the first. Small adjustments may need to be made to the length of the second pole to ensure that the peak of the tent is level, and this side should be staked out tighter than the first. With both poles inserted, close the vestibule doors and tighten the guy lines using the included tensioners built into the lines. Tighten the top line until the peak of the tent is taut, and then adjust the guy line for the vestibule doors. This takes us to the third and final step, which is to tension the rainfly with the corner webbings. Work your way around the tent, tensioning each strap until the rainfly is tight and there are no lines in the fabric. At each corner, reach in to find the shock cord loop attached to the inner tent body. Place this loop over the stake at that corner to pull the inner body tight and to keep the tent floor flat. The final step in getting the perfect pitch is using the additional guy lines in the center of the rain fly. You can use these guy lines when pitching in strong winds or to increase the inner headroom of the tent. Simply pass the guy line up through the back of the tensioner and down through the front to lock the guy line in place. Stake this guy line out and adjust it using either of the tensioners at both ends of the line. With these tips, you should have no problem getting a perfect pitch on your Lanshan 2 tent and should now be ready for many comfortable nights of ultralight camping. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the night cap backpacking tent. This is the single layer tent. It's small, compact, lightweight, very lightweight. It's waterproof in heavy rain, and it's pretty easy to set up. So let's get started. These are the poles. There's two sets of poles that it comes with. I like these poles. They connect really easily like that. They almost just go right together by themselves. One pull, set it to the sides. Pull number two. So here's the tent. It's made out of thick, waterproof material. So this is great for heavy rain. To the grommet, starting with the pole that is on the top first. Just like that. We go to this side. Remember, top pull first. Just like this. And boom. Move it around. Whatever I want with it. And I'll 
show you some of the features. There's the door. I like that the door has Velcro and it's covered to keep the ring out. Look at that. Tuck these up on the side. You want to tie this to the top here. There we go. See, it makes it a little more taut. This is the rain fly that protects the screen here. I like this door. See, look at this. Pretty roomy in here. Hey, night cat. So as you can see, here's one sleeping pad. It's pretty roomy. Got your backpacking backpack there. It's kind of a tight squeeze, but I mean, really. You can actually fit two sleeping pads in here. So that means another me could sleep next to me. Hey.